All right, so this is a muscle length assessment for upper trapezius. We're going to go ahead and do levator scap as well. Super easy. We've got Kristen laying face up. We're going to bring her into full cervical flexion. I cannot emphasize the word full enough. Full cervical flexion. So full cervical flexion. We're going to assess her left upper trapezius muscle length, full cervical flexion, lateral flexion away, and then we're gonna rotate her towards the upper trapezius we're assessing. This hand goes on the, uh, sorry, the uh, chromioclavicular articulation area, it's a broad contact, and I'm just gonna give her a little muscle play, okay? And not doing too bad today, okay? Again, the position for upper trapezius was full cervical flexion, lateral flexion, and rotation towards. T for trapezius, T is for towards. Now, that's gonna be different when we assess levator scap, okay? We're gonna do levator on her left. We're gonna bring her into full cervical flexion. You should be sick of hearing me say full cervical flexion at this point. We're gonna go lateral flexion away from the levator we're assessing. And then we're gonna go cervical rotation away. Okay, that's uh, levator going rotation away. We're gonna come to that acromioclavicular articulation area and give a little pressure uh, superior to inferior to see if she has some spring, okay? If she doesn't have any spring in either of those, we know that we've got some tightness in either the upper trapezius or the levator scapula. The position is almost identical. The only thing that you're doing different is cervical rotation towards for the upper trapezius, cervical rotation away for levator scapula. Uh, that was a muscle length assessment for upper trapezius and levator scapula.